For the people of Ireland, the figure of Biddy Early is a fantastical mix of legend and history. She has been characterized simultaneously as the White Witch of Clare and the Wise Woman of Clare. The tale of Biddy has been characterized by scholars as one of those narratives referring to everyday events that are supposed to have happened involving people who were apparently historically real. Since Biddy Early lived so long ago, most of the information about her and her tales have been passed down from generation to generation until it was finally recorded. Biddy is now treated as a legendary figure who, in her time, was one to be both feared and respected. For the majority of her life, Biddy Early lived fairly modestly, in a small cottage in County Clare. This cottage is now abandoned and serves as a tourist attraction site. Throughout her life, she had several husbands, each increasingly younger. She first got married at the age of 20 and was married for the last time at the age of 80. She was rumored to have been married up to six times. She had one son named Tom, and he was said to outlive all six husbands. It was also rumored in the nearby villages that she got some of her husbands to marry her through trickery or charms. Stories about Biddy Early are usually exaggerated and often include mythological motifs. One of the most talked about aspects of Biddy was her little blue bottle. Some accounts say that she was given a magical blue bottle by the fairy folk into which she peered to ascertain the cause of illness or unhappiness. The fairy folk that are referred to here could mean a variety of things. Fairies were said to be degraded versions of ancient gods, the faded memory of indigenous people replaced by later immigrants or elemental spirits of nature or dead people. Helping people was a big part of Biddy Early's way of life. As it was told, one man had his entire herd of cattle cursed by the fairies, and they all became violently ill. On the advice of one of his friends, he went to see Biddy. After looking into her bottle, she saw the problem. He had planted a white thorn bush along a fairy path in his field. She instructed him to go home and remove the bush. As soon as he had done this, his entire herd immediately returned to full health. However, not everyone experienced Biddy's benevolence. After the death of her second husband, Tom Flannery, she was unable to pay her rent to the local landlord. Because of this, she received an eviction notice. The night before the eviction was to take place, her dead husband Tom visited her and told her when the police were to arrive the following day to tell them to stay where you are, and they would leave and return no more. Thus, the following day when they arrived, Biddy said the words her husband had told her to say, and the five policemen and sheriff were stuck to the roadside for two hours, unable to move. After two hours, Biddy told them to go away and never return, and the lock which Biddy had put on them was broken, and they ran off with their tails between their legs. Biddy was never bothered by them again. Overall, Biddy was received very well by the community, and anecdotal evidence suggests this. It is noted that Biddy wasn't a selfish woman, and she didn't make a great fortune from her powers. She only accepted a jug of poteen or whiskey, or perhaps some food for her services, but never money. She was also welcoming and generous towards travelers. If a weary traveler was coming from many miles to meet Biddy, she would see them coming in the bottle and meet them halfway. And it is said that never was a tired traveler turned from her door, and many a passerby was given a jug and a seat in front of her warm fire. Another interesting story of Biddy's magic is the 1995 Claire Hurling team. The team was supposedly cursed by Biddy, and because of this, they hadn't been in a championship since 1932, where they lost the finals. In 1995, they finally broke the curse. The significance of Biddy lies in the fact that she's so well known today. Her name is still current almost a century and a half after her death. She wasn't the only individual with power of some sort, but she was probably the most famous of the fairy doctors to whom ordinary people resorted when ill or in trouble. Even though she was highly regarded as a witch, Biddy Early gave people the hope to survive. She was passionate and caring and truly defines the magical realm of Irish folklore.